In this video, I'm going to talk about something called the basic accounting equation. This equation is absolutely fundamental to your understanding of accounting. So let's go ahead and write out the equation. We've got on the left hand side, we have assets. This is the left hand side of our equation. Assets are always equal to liabilities, which is otherwise seen as debt, borrowing, plus equity, which is the owner's share of the assets. So we've got the right hand side of the equation, all this over here, and then we've got the assets on the left hand side. This equation will always balance. Always. Always balances. And in fact, this is something you will see on the balance sheet. You'll always see any balance sheet, the assets will be equal to liabilities plus equity. So when we think about conceptually what is going on here, well, there's a few things. So first of all, the assets are things that the company or the business owns. For example, cash, could be some accounts receivable, property, plant, and equipment, things like buildings. Uh, we've got intangible assets like trademarks, investments, all these different things are things that the company owns. But although the company owns these things, there are different claims on those assets and that's what's represented by the liabilities and equity side. These are claims on the assets of the business. But these claims come from two different sources. So we've got the liabilities, which is debtors. So for example, you borrow money from a bank, you owe this asset, there's a claim against it by a bank. So that's the debtor side. And then this equity side is owners. So the equity side represents claims by owners and then the debtor side is claims against the assets by debtors so this is a little abstract here so let's let's go ahead and, and just think about this in terms of if we actually started a, a business so let's say we're going to start you, you want to start a DJ business you want to be a DJ at, at weddings so you start your own DJ business well you're gonna to have to buy some equipment so you purchase purchase equipment and let's say it cost five thousand dollars so you purchase equipment for five thousand and let's just pretend let's keep things simple here let's pretend that this is the only asset for right now that we're concerned with that you've bought this is the only thing that you own make this a very simple world here so that equipment is an asset. So what's going to happen is if we were to look at your balance sheet or to do this accounting equation for your company, we're going to have $5,000 on the left hand side. And then that $5,000 in assets, this just corresponds to this up here, is going to be equal to liabilities plus equity. So how do we figure that out? Well, we have to figure out how are those assets paid for. Well, let's say that you went and you took a thousand dollars out of your personal savings, which was separate from the business, just you put a thousand dollars of your own money into the business. Well, that's the equity portion. That's your claim against the assets of the business because you are the owner. So you've got a thousand dollars here in equity. But how else were, was this purchase of the equipment financed? Well, let's say that you borrowed the remaining $4,000 from a bank. So now we can represent this in terms of it. We've got assets here on our left-hand side, and then we've got claims against those assets on our right-hand side. Okay, We've got $4,000 in liabilities here. And then we've got $1,000 in equity. But let's say for a moment that you decide that you want to invest, just let's say you want to invest $200 cash 
after this, after all this is taking place, you say, you know, I just want to give the company $200 cash and it'll use it at some point in the future. Okay, so what's going to happen is this. So now we're going to we're going to add that $200 over here. And now the company is going to have an asset of $5,000 in terms of its equipment plus $200 of cash. If we were to look at its balance sheet, that have $5,200 in assets. But that has to equal the right-hand side. If the left-hand side goes up by 200, then the right-hand side must go up by 200. So then we say, okay, how was that how was that increase in assets? How did that how was that financed? Well, did we borrow the $200? No. The owner put it in from his own or her own personal savings. So the the debt, the liability side, it's going to stay the same because we didn't borrow to get that. But now the owner, he or she, has an extra $200 of equity. So if you're the owner, now you have $1,200 in equity. There's $4,000 in liabilities, and here's your total assets. Whatever you do to the left-hand side or to the right-hand side, there has to be a corresponding change in the other side of the equation so that both sides are equal to each other. This is the basic accounting equation.